Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival from Python's World. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. We're on the 24th episode in Season 3. And once again, guys, thank you very much for all of the support you guys have been showing this channel and the series lately. I do truly appreciate it. If we can keep it up with 2,000 likes per episode, that would be absolutely fantastic. Now, to begin today's episode, I wanted to try something out because uh, one of the things, uh, a sort of more secret feature that was added in a recent Minecraft update, not 1.14, but I think it might be 1.13, is uh, furnaces storing the XP you would have gotten from uh, smelting stuff. So, I'm actually going to go ahead and grab myself some XP from there. So, that is, uh, you know, we'll back up to 29 levels which is very nice uh we are going to convert those all into blocks guys look at how many gold blocks we have now that's that's a pretty significant amount. And uh, yeah, we're going to be going ahead back over to the ocean base to do some work over there. Uh, you may notice in my inventory, I flashed it up there for a second. Uh, I have 15 bookshelves on me. Uh, so we can make ourselves another enchant setup over at the ocean base. So I don't have to keep going between bases. So if we go over here to the ocean base, what you guys are going to notice is the fact that I've placed in some levers switched on behind these hoppers here. Now, what I'm hoping will happen is that that will stop any items that are smelted from uh, going into the chest down below. So, uh, let's start off by uh, putting in some fuel here real quick. I've taken out all of the sand. I've done another sand mining sweep as well. So, we're looking pretty good there. We've got some obsidian here. Uh, let's make ourselves the enchant table and we're going to place down the enchant setup. Uh, let's just put it back here because why not? Uh-huh. Nice and easy. There we go. Okay, and then there we go. All right, so we got ourselves another enchant setup. Uh, so, yeah, that makes things a lot easier, which is very, very nice. Now, what we're going to start off by doing today is actually harvesting a whole bunch of kelp because you guys correctly said in the last episode that we should probably start utilizing kelp blocks as a furnace fuel. A block of dried kelp will, uh, will do 20 items, which is very, very nice. So that's a quarter of what a coal block will do. So we won't even have to go mining for coal. So, you know, that's kind of epic. So, yeah. All right, guys. Let's head down and let's start going, like, way to the bottom. I mean, we're not going to harvest the entire stalk. We'll leave, like, a stalk at the bottom so they can grow back. But, uh, yeah. This is how we're going to be harvesting kelp. For now, anyway. We may wind up eventually making a fully automatic way of doing this. Uh, but, yeah. For now, we're just manually harvesting it all. So, yeah. Hmm. So I just came to the realization if I have too many entities going... Oh my goodness me, that's a lot of kelp. If there's too many entities on the surface, then that's going to start causing lag, right? So uh, we should probably start picking these bad boys up in just a second here. Uh, but there's so many. There's so many things I want to break. All right. Well, yeah. Looking pretty good, huh? Oh my goodness me. <laughs> oh my word. There's a lot of kelp. That's a lot of kelp. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're looking pretty good, huh? All right, guys, let's keep harvesting this stuff. Uh, maybe we can get like a full inventory's worth and then we'll start harvesting, not harvesting, we'll start smelting it all, I guess. And we'll see if the XP that we would have gotten from smelting all of that glass goes into our inventory when we actually like manually take it all out. That's the that's the theory anyway. I'm hoping that it's true because if so, we should wind up getting back up to 30 levels real easy like. Alrighty guys, so we've got all of these things evenly split up in terms of their stacks. So, uh, oh right, uh, I think I need to turn these on. Yeah, ah yeah. Uh, apparently it locks these hoppers up here as well. That's a bit of a dirt. All right, well let's go put these things back on, and what it should do is hold this. Okay, so if my theory is correct, what should happen is when I take this out, I should get a ton of XP. Oh, that wasn't a lot, actually. I'm actually kind of surprised. All right, well, uh, let's go ahead and continue. We should get ourselves 30 levels anyways. There we go. It's brilliant stuff. All right, and then we'll switch these things off so we can go back into automatic mode. Yeah. Okay. So I'm pretty much going to keep these things smelting until the coal runs out, and then we will switch 
to using dried kelp because it just kind of makes sense. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go grab the diamond pickaxe that we have back at our shipwreck base and we're going to give that a quick enchant to see what we get. Alrighty, let's grab out some lapis. Ah, uh, yeah, we're going to need to go lapis mining at some point, huh? Hmm. Okay, well, I feel like, uh, you know, strip mining will probably be the best way of doing that. But anyways, I'm breaking three. Efficiency four. Okay, so we have ourselves another workhorse pickaxe. Hey, don't mind if I do, man. That's kind of awesome. I would definitely take that. I would not complain whatsoever about it. All right, so as you guys know, you can make these things into dried kelp blocks. And I'm pretty sure that may even be the first ever time I've ever crafted dried kelp blocks. So, you know, that's kind of epic. Yeah, there we go. So apparently each one of these blocks will smelt 20 items. That, my friendos, sounds pretty darn amazing. So yeah, like I say, just going to leave these things to keep going until the coal runs out. And then uh, we will switch to using dried kelp blocks as our furnace fuel. Awesome stuff. Okay, guys. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to try to dig out another layer of the ocean monument because it's something we need to do isn't it i mean yeah it's a dangerous it's a dangerous undertaking we did it in the last episode but it needs to be done it really really does if we're going to be making progress in this thing then we just need to sort of put the pedal to pedal to the metal and just sort of get on with it i guess so all we got to try and do is get inside without being absolutely destroyed there we go aha right and now we begin the big dig Yes. Oh boy. This is going to take a long freaking time. Oh my word. <laughs> Alright guys. Well, I guess we could do like little progress updates as we go along. As I mentioned in the last episode, at least I think I mentioned it. I will just do like little bit by bits like in each episode just so we can make steady progress. And uh, as a result of doing that, you know, maybe it won't seem so bad as we go along, you know. So yeah. Let's just keep going, huh? Ah, oh, look who's come to join me on my ocean monument digging expedition. Ah, <laughs> oh, you love to see it, my friends. We got a little dolphin companion. Ah, oh, this guy, this guy is actually kind of cute. I like it. Ah, <laughs> oh, brilliant stuff. I do love this game sometimes. Just the weird derpiness that does occur sometimes. <laughs> Hey, buddy, you having a nice time, you know, jacking all of my blocks that I actually kind of want and or need for the eventual mob drop trap farm? Hmm, you like jacking all of my stuff? <laughs> oh, brilliant stuff. Hey, buddy. Yeah, cool. Well, anyways, guys, we're making some uh, decent progress here. As you can see, we're sort of in the uh, the mid-tier of this ocean monument. I'd, I'd probably estimate that we're like, what? 35 maybe 40 percent of the way through digging out this entire thing oh boy it's uh it's gonna be a long long project isn't it even just digging the stuff out alone is gonna be a long project ah uh, so as the beautiful ocean music plays we're back for another progress update and well guys we've run out of coal so you know what that means it is now time to switch out our fuel source. That is right, my friends. So, yep, all of these are switched off. So, I can now go ahead and get these bad boys placed in. And away they go. Ha <laughs> ha! Brilliant stuff. Okay. So, once again, as we go along and we start smelting loads and loads and loads of stuff, we should uh, wind up having to uh, switch off these things and then, like, get things out manually, get XP, and then just keep enchanting as we go, I guess. Uh, so yeah, in terms of the monument though, I've pretty much dug out another layer, but it's becoming a little bit unsafe to dig it out. I'm not entirely sure in what way I could combat that, but I did say, didn't I? As I dig more and more of the monument out, it's going to become more and more dangerous. So yeah, maybe we need to make like a bit of a safe box or something like that where we could just sort of sit in there or something. Uh, you see, I really don't want to drain it out. I don't want to drain it out because then I would have to manually place in all of the water sources again and make them all into water source blocks and not flowing blocks. Because as you guys know, uh, you know, uh, bubble streams, they can't work if you have flowing blocks. So, yeah, 
It's a bit of a pain. I won't lie. It is a bit of a pain. Alrighty, guys. So at this point, I'm pretty much just waiting for more resources to become available to us. One of the things I wanted to try and do uh, was fill in the glass sections around the edges of the ocean monuments, right? So we come up here. So from the dirt to this white area here, the four sections around the edge, I want to try and fill in with glass as well. Uh, so we can maybe utilize them for space as well. However, I think what I want to do for now, though, is I would like to go mining for resources. We need ourselves coal and we need ourselves lapis and quite a lot of it, to be honest with you. So uh, I think it would be a good idea if we try to spend our time wisely and try to do as like as much stuff as we possibly can. So yeah, let's go ahead and put the sand in here as well, of course. So one, two, three, four. So yeah, these, these, these furnaces, they're going to be going for a long, long time. Ha! <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, so I feel like a worthy starting position would just be in the ocean here. You tend to get like entrances to cave systems and all sorts of stuff down here. Uh, so maybe let's go down here. I mean, there's coal. That's a good start, I guess. <laughs> all right. Give to me. Give to me all the coal. Oh, yes. So coal and lapis, they are the priorities at this particular moment in time. However, with that all said and done, it might also be an idea to grab ourselves iron. Because, you know, if we, if we can make ourselves more hoppers, we can expand upon our auto smelter, get some more furnaces going. Huh? Ah, you see? Trying to think ahead, my friends. Trying to think ahead. Right. Now, if we could, like, actually grab all of the stuff, that would be fantastic. Right, where'd the other bit of coal go? Aha! I see you floating away there, sir. It ain't gonna work out well for you. All right, we need to go digging. Let's go down to diamond level, and I guess let's just go from there. <laughs> okay, so I just randomly started digging down a freaking staircase, and what do we bump into almost immediately? Diamonds! We have diamonds pretty much immediately, my friends. Okay, well, uh, you know... I'm never ever gonna say no to diamonds if you catch my drift. All right, there's a little bit more down here. Yeah, and now that we have Fortune 3 on our hand, uh, you know, things are gonna be looking kind of cool. So yeah, there we go. Six diamonds for our troubles. Don't mind if I do, man. That's kind of epic. <laughs> oh, it's another one of those ore veins that just keeps bumping into other ore veins. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. That's kind of epic. Okay, so... Yeah, guys, we're looking pretty good so far. I think at this point, to be honest with you, uh, redstone, we just don't need. We have quite a lot of it. I'm kind of tempted to just leave it behind. Uh, I mean, I'll take the redstone dust that we have already. But uh, from now on in, I think we will leave out the redstone. We'll, we'll grab everything else because why not? It'll all be, you, you know, useful to me at some point. But for now, yeah, no redstone needed. Just everything else, pretty much. Oh, oh my gosh. Now, that's a view and a half, my friends. That is a view and a half. Don't mind if I do. Both types of blue shiny rocks. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at this thing. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, yeah, like I say, the more of this we can get, the better things are going to be. Now, because we have Fortune 3 now. Uh, wow. So, th four lapis ore gave us 45 lapis lazuli. I mean, come on, man. That's a good amount, isn't it? And then, of course, we've got these other blue shiny rocks. Yeah. <laughs> ah, we're looking good, my friends. We are looking good. I'm very, very fortunate to have Fortune 3 now. Uh, because Fortune 3 plus Lapis is just, it's just a recipe for, oh my gosh. <laughs> it, it gives you a lot. It gives you a lot. Ooh. Hello, Iron. Hey, don't mind if I do. I need it all, my friends. I need it all. Well, guys, I've made the conscious decision to uh, end this mining trip once the breaker of blocks no longer has a durability bar. So as soon as the last little chunk of durability goes on the little bar there, we will call it there. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see what kind of stuff we have on our person, which, by the way, at the moment is quite a lot. In fact, talking of which, we should probably start making coal blocks, shouldn't we? Because, uh, well, yeah, we've got rather a lot of coal. And, yeah, I mean, I'm not complaining. I like it. I like the fact we've got more furnace fuel and such. Ooh, guys, it's an eight vein. It's a beautiful eight vein. Okay, 31 diamonds is now the amount we're at. And some gold. Okay, okay. 
We seem to be finding everything other than freaking lapis. Come on, man. How rare is lapis? Like, actually. I feel like it's almost as rare as diamonds, but maybe not as much, maybe. I don't know. I feel like there's a distinct lack of lapis generating in the world. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just being really quite unlucky. I mean, to be honest, I'm quite unlucky when it comes to mining anyway. Well, well, <laughs> I say that, he, he says, as he has 31 diamonds in his inventory. But still, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Anyways, more coal. Thank you. Alrighty, guys, and we're just about done with that mining session. Oh, hello there, sir. Uh, you shouldn't be around here. Go get killed. Right, and same with your little spider buddy. Uh, well, apparently my shooting needs a little bit of uh, work. <laughs> Oh dear. But anyways guys, yeah, we're back in action. Our pickaxe is very almost dead. We've got like loads of repairs left on it though. And of course, you know, we do still have the other one. Yeah, that's kind of epic. But uh, yeah, in the meantime guys, uh, yeah, this is what we've managed to get. Uh, wow, more than a full stack of coal blocks. Damn, dude. I may go ahead. Well, let's have a look at this. Okay, so this is looking pretty, pretty good. Uh-huh. So it's still going through all of the kelp right now because the kelp is the first thing in each of the hoppers, right? Yeah. So as long as there's kelp in this top chest, it'll always be the first thing that is smelted before the glass is smelted. So yeah, that's actually kind of cool. I like that. But uh, guys, now that we have uh, nine stacks of dry kelp, we can get ourselves a full stack of dry kelp blocks and then really go to town on the furnace fuels, you know? Yeah. And then check it out as well, my friends. We got ourselves a bunch of iron as well, which is obviously really, really good. And we came out in the finish with 46 diamonds, which is very nice. Very nice indeed, actually. I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> nice. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to pop back to base real quick. We're going to get that stuff smelting up. And then, uh, yeah, I guess we'll continue on from there. Alrighty, guys. And since we have 33 levels, we might as well see what we can get on these various uh, tools here. So we have Efficiency 4 guaranteed uh, by itself. Okay. Ah, I'm breaking three. That's an interesting one. Okay, right. I'll tell you what we're going to do real quick. I'm going to see if we can get ourselves back up to 31 levels by uh, turning those off or on or off. I don't know which way. Uh, can we get ourselves back up to 31? Uh... Oh, very, very close. Okay. Uh-huh. Right. I need a tiny amount of XP so I can do a scrap enchant. Ah, oh, gosh freaking darn. Alrighty, guys. So, we just went ahead and grabbed all the iron out of the uh, blast furnaces. That gets us back to 30 levels. I've done the scrap enchant already, and I'm breaking three. Ah. Uh... Okay. Well, that's unfortunate, I'll be honest with you, but uh, oh well. I'm pretty sure this thing will still be capable of insta-mining sand, though. So, actually, it's, it's not really the end of the world, I guess. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. Got a bit of a smorgasbord of stuff going on here. Alrighty, guys. So it is that time again. We're going to be ending off the episode. So as always, we have the comment question of the video here. Linda Jufferman says, I hope you're taking Cup Fan's advice and place the soul sand in last. They sincerely regretted putting it in early on Hermitcraft 6. Uh, yeah, actually, now that I come to think about it, that does make a lot of sense because, uh, yeah, I mean, as much as I didn't actually see what happened on Hermitcraft 6 with that, I can certainly imagine how much of a headache that must have been. Just having guardians at the surface of the water just constantly zapping you. Oh, my word. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's definitely something for me to keep in mind and definitely something that, uh, you know, uh, I should be very wary of later down the line when we're actually constructing the Guardian Farms themselves. So, ladies and gentlemen... We are going to go ahead and end this episode here yet again. A bit of a wishy-washy episode. But when you're doing a very, very large project like this, there's there's a lot of gearing up, a lot of waiting around, a lot of resource gathering. It's just the nature of large projects, really. I mean, as much as we may not have made any progress with the project itself today, uh, we've made progress with, like, furnace fuels and getting resources ready to do various things and tools and digging out more of the monument. Like I say, just bit by bit, we are making slow progress but like i say my friends this is not a project for the faint-hearted and it's certainly not a project that's going to be finished anytime soon so ladies and gentlemen like i say gonna wrap it up for now if you guys have enjoyed today's episode as always a like rating would be very much appreciated hit the subscribe button and ding that bell if you guys don't want to miss out on future content but that is going to wrap it up for me for now so guys thank you very much for watching have a fantastic rest of your day as always and i'll see you guys in the next episode <laughs>